everyone, it's Fitz with the Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. I'm getting ready to go to Bramage Coliseum to cover a little basketball. But first, this Daily Delivery must be taped because it's very important. Very important. Also very important is you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Get us over 7,000 as we effort to get to 7.5 before the holidays, end of the year. Uh, and there's a great special at GoPowerCat.com. Too many details to, to explain. If you love Paramount Plus and you love 24-7 sports, you love Go Power Cat, this is your one. 50% of it all, all, off all of it, all of it. Okay, here we go. The daily delivery, the numbers are out from Championship Week. The TV ratings, very interesting. The SEC, as expected, and the Big Ten are the top two dogs with ratings of 5.6 and 5.5. That equates to just under 11 million viewers for both of those games. Really solid numbers, but expected. I mean, you've got... Georgia, LSU, and you've got Michigan in another one. And, and I'm telling you what, those brands are worth some uh, TV viewers. There's no doubt about it. Next, though, of course, it was the Big 12. And the rating was 5.3, just behind the Big 2 with brands that nobody wants, according to some people in this world in which we live. Kansas State and TCU played. There were 9.4 million viewers in that game, a 5.3 rating. The Friday night standalone Pac-12 game. Congratulations, you had a 3-3. 5-6, 5-5, 5-3 three, three. Five, 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 three for the top three. And the Pac-12 had a 3-3. Three, three. And that was uh, 6 million viewers, and that was really good for them. They claim it's because they're on Friday night, but they choose to be on Friday night or the networks want them on Friday night. So I don't know. It's not like a meteor hit them on the head. Clemson, North Carolina, that stunk at uh, 1.9 uh, rating, 3.4, 3.5 million viewers. Tulane and Central Florida almost beat it out at a 1.5. Look, the ratings are very clear. The Big 12 is the third conference, and it has been for a number of years as I effort to get back here to the screen because the Big 12 tweeted out something really interesting on um, Tuesday, and this is really good stuff. From the Big 12, there were 9.4 million viewers for the game. It's the highest rating for the Big 12 championship since 2018, and this is really telling. It was up 15% over last year's game, but that 19, or excuse me, that 2018 game was OU Texas, the two biggest brands, and it barely beat. It was less than 10% higher than TCU and Kansas State. And this kind of emphasizes what I've been saying. Those brands have higher value, but it's not as high as some of you perceive. It's not double, it's like 10% or less. And that's compared to brands that have been ignored and shelved and not given windows where people can see them. And the Big 12 still is pulling good numbers. But how about this? The Big 12's ratings peaked at 12.7 million viewers during the course of the game. And that, my friends, was the highest rating of any of the championship games in terms of the peak of viewership. The new Big 12, it's going to be rolling. And by the way, out of the 14 teams that will be in the Big 12 next year, 12 are bowling. Mmm, delicious.